Okay, so in order to bring in a character, a walking character from Mixamo into this uh, laid out shot, right, the first thing we need to do is we go over to Mixamo and we pick the character walking. Okay, make sure when it's walking, right, let me just pick another one, especially when there's forward movements. We want to enable this in place okay, so that he's actually walking on the spot. All right. So once that is done, we download the character. Okay, I'm going to use the default settings. And I'm going to save the character that's walking then I'm going to bring it into blender file import fbx then we navigate to the folder containing the character walking there we go and just import him in and then you can see that the animation only lasts until 40 over frames. So we want to reposition this character so that he starts right over here. So we can use the move tool, make sure the armature is selected and move him all the way to the back here. And right now he's a little bit small. So I'm going to press uh, S to scale it up. Okay. And make sure you scale it up based on his own pivot. Positions. I'm going to change this to median point. Let's add to scale it up. Then we can actually see how it walks. And right now you can see that he's walking on the spot, but it stops at frame 42. So we want to make him walk continuously. So go over to animation. Or if you don't have an animation tab here, you can click on plus and then add a general animation. And then you want to change the animation from graph editor or from dope sheet to a non-linear animation sequence. All right. So next, okay, we want to click on this button here to enable the action strips. And over at the strip area here, scroll down right to the bottom. We want to repeat his walk action or maybe five times okay so you can see that the re the motion is being repeated five times i want to repeat it until it encompasses the entire 250 frames so i'm going to put maybe six okay, or maybe seven so that it goes beyond so right now we can see the character is walking and what we need to do right now is we need to animate the armature so that it moves forward so we're going to turn on auto key by clicking on this button here then making sure that our armature is selected all right we're going to set one key so to set a key here we can go ahead and under the transform options right since it's going to be moving along the y axis i'm going to click on this button here to activate a keyframe so and then i'm going to see how far is he going to step okay right now i need to find an indicator of where is the start point of his okay i need to find out where is the start point of his uh his heel so i'm gonna hold on the shift and right mouse click on the heel so that i can put the cursor over there right now i'm gonna scrub the time i'm gonna scrub the timeline forwards until the heel is about to leave the ground all right then i'm going to select the armature then you can use the move tool you can use the move tool here all right and make sure you move the armature forward okay right? i don't know why the move tool is not visible but that's fine we can select the armature and press g y to let go forwards okay for some reason right now in post mode it's not supposed to be in post mode okay now there you go so now we can see the move icon okay and then we already set a keyframe so we can move forward until 
the heel reaches the position of the cursor. All right. So now we have a nice forward action, which is just a single point action. And we're going to make sure we select the armature. Then we're going to switch over to the graph editor. And you can see a little bit of the graph motion of the armature moving along the Y location. So I'm going to press F. Okay, F doesn't work here. We have to press home. Then we can see the translation okay, of the Y curve, which is very, very minor. So we need to hold on to control and middle mouse click to see it. Now I want the motion to be constant rather than this accelerate, decelerate. So I'm going to select these two key points here. Press V for victory and change it to vector. Then in order to make it continuous, uh, make it go down uh, continuously as it move forward continuously we have to add another keyframe or in fact we don't have to add another keyframe let's see uh, oh yes we do have to add another keyframe at 250 so I'm gonna go to frame 250 and then I'm gonna add another keyframe at for the y-axis then I'm gonna change this keyframe into a constant motion also press V change it to vector then grab this keyframe and press G, Y, and then bring it down until the angle right is the same. So what this does is that I should be able to see him walk with the same foot steps like that. Okay, so now we can watch our fancy character walking down with style and we can now hide this armature so we don't have to render it's actually walking on tiptoe so this is actually a motion capture from i guess a female walker all right so that's how you get the character to move forwards using a mixamo animation all right with that i will stop